All right, so besides our fern, let's check out some of our leaf variation we have in this region. Uh, lots of different plants, not a lot of them flowering at this moment, but we can check out how the leaves are formed uh, in different ways. So here we've got a, a little shrub with a compound leaf divided three times. And at the base, you can see some stipules there. And this one uh, divided three times. The leaflets are pinnately compound, also uh, serrate toothed. Uh, looks like we have even tooths of different orders. So kind of a big tooth um, interspersed with some little teeth that make up the big teeth. Uh, nice and fuzzy on both sides, or uh, at least on the underside. Fuzzy on the underside for this leaf. Uh, nearby, another plant with compound leaves. This is, uh, we don't have a lot of these. This is one of our uh, palmately compound leaves. So this is one leaf. Uh, here's where it's emerging from a stem. There's a little bit of bud there that tells you where the leaf originated. So petiole and then uh, compound into five leaflets all originating from the same place. So palmately compound leaflets are pinnately veined, uh, toothed very similarly to the one we just saw. Uh, here we go, another leaf that is simple. So we can tell they're uh, simple leaves. You can see the stipules on there that can give away the leaf base. Uh, and then also really tiny in there are some buds that would show us the leaf base. So let me see if I can get one of these complete with stipules. There we go. I got one stipule. So one stipule at the base of this leaf. Uh, kind of an interesting venation pattern. It's pinnate venation, but then the uh, veins kind of arc towards the tip. Uh, they have a special name for this called arcuate venation. The uh, margins are a little bit, they're finely serrate toothed, uh, not entire. All right, moving on. Let's see, what haven't we looked at yet? Here's a little uh, juvenile of a hickory. So hickories typically have more leaflets than this, but this one's got three leaflets on this leaf. Uh, same thing, kind of fat towards the base of that leaf. And then uh, this time compound into three leaflets, wholly divided, each leaflet pinnately veined, serrate toothed margins. Some of the same stuff we've seen before. Uh, another one over here, coming in at uh, single, simple leaves with a nice example of pinnate venation. This is kind of the textbook pinnate venation where the side veins, the lateral veins go all uh, kind of even with each other toward the margins. Uh, here we have an entire margin and adaxial, sorry, adaxial here, abaxial surface. A uh, little bit different. You can just make out the difference in the venation uh, there. Uh, here's another one. A uh, really good time of year to see stipules on some of these plants where the stipules don't last forever. So this is a, uh, one of our trees that's got uh, stipules here. Uh, this is actually the stipules that belong to that leaf because they're located at the place where it leaves the stem. And uh, two stipules, nice fine linear stipules. And again, pinnately veined, uh, leaf teeth, serrate of two orders. So uh, the teeth have teeth. Even the teeth have teeth. Uh, I don't know if you can make it out. The leaf is kind of finely hairy on the under uh, abaxial surface. Uh, with my naked eye, I see a little bit of hairiness on the upper abac, sorry, adaxial surface as well. Uh, another one, we saw hickory before. This appears to be one of our um, ashes. So uh, pinnately compound into seven leaflets. They're all pinnately veined. A uh, little bit of kind of obscure rounded teeth toward the tips of those leaflets. Uh, who else we got here? Oh, wonderful. So down here, a uh, plant with some parallel veins that are, uh, the leaves are sessile, so they uh, taper all the way down to the base of the leaf. Uh, a little bit shiny on the upper surface. Whoa, very shiny on the lower surface. Uh, right next to it, another one of a different species. Uh, got one of the stipules with it. So stipules again on this one. Uh, pinnately veined, simple leaves, and the teeth. Uh, this is, every leaf that I've shown you so far is a different species. And uh, maybe you can appreciate some of the differences we're noticing. 
Although I feel like I'm saying a lot of the same thing. So here we have again, serrate teeth of two orders, uh, pinnately veined and stipules present. Uh, but if you took a careful look at a lot of the leaves we're seeing right now, uh, you could notice the differences that, uh, kind of persistent differences in shape that make them distinct. Uh, another one here also got some stipules. It's stipule season. Uh, this one's got deep lobes, so not compound, but instead lobed. Uh, three main lobes here, then the main margin is deeply serrate toothed, I would say. Uh, this one has main divisions as uh, palmately veined, so a little bit different than we've seen in a lot of leaves in here. Uh, a little bit irregular shape, so asymmetrical, sometimes we see that. Uh, here's some others of the same. Another one of the same kind as that. <laughs> Uh, a little bit better developed. So underside ab axial, upper side ad axial surface. A uh, little bit hairy to the touch. I don't know if that's coming through on the video. Moving over to one of our trees in the vicinity. Uh, rather large leaves and uh, lobed. So not compound, but lobed. Uh, kind of a, a wavy lobe to these. So one you could easily rip, recreate with a pencil. Um, smooth or entire margins all throughout these lobes. Uh, major venation is pinnate. Uh, we do have a little bit of a technical petiole here, although we do have the blade kind of tapering down to about that point where the blade stops. Uh, one more. This is uh, different from the ash, although this has the common name of prickly ash, so maybe you'd be forgiven uh, for getting those mistaken. This one has uh, actually alternate leaves, which will help distinguish it, but otherwise they're pinnately compound. They're a little bit shiny. Uh, see, they have a smell to them. Yeah, much more uh, aromatic. So this is actually in the citrus family, gives off kind of a citrusy smell, uh, along with these little bit different kind of looks, uh, looking leaves. Uh, let me see, we had the oaks uh, with the smooth margins. Now we have another one uh, this is another of our oak leaves with the uh, lobed, deep, wavy lobes. But big difference here is that these lobes terminate in teeth. And so it's not uh, an entire margin, really a toothed margin on there for the uh, oak leaf there. So underside, upper side. Hi.